I've always really, really liked music. Like when I was a little kid, I liked listening to it. So I just wanted to take guitar lessons. So I started at age 11 and kind of went from there. I just became obsessed with it. When I was a little kid, I listened to really crappy music. <laughs> like I think all kids kind of do. But um, I really get into movie soundtracks. Like Wes Anderson movies have really great soundtracks. And like I saw the movie Garden State, which has a really cool soundtrack. And that's how I discovered like The Shins. And I discovered Elliot Smith through the Royal Tenenbaums and all that kind of stuff. So that music sort of influenced me to start doing my own kind of songwriting. So that was probably when I was around age 14, 15. Can I think of all the time? Joel Plaskett when I was probably around 17. Um, I was doing some recording in a, in a Buddhist school in Halifax. I didn't go there, but I knew some people who did, and a lot of um, bands from Halifax recorded there. Um, so he came in to listen to some of the demos that we were recording there, and I kind of struck a, a conversation with him then. And um, he, he said he liked my music, which was really nice to hear. And uh, then three years later, on my 20th birthday, I got a call from his manager, who's now my manager, inviting me to this Gordy Sampson songwriting camp in Cape Breton. Um, and I had no idea how she knew who I was. And I got there, and she said that Joel had recommended me for it. So, um, And she kind of hooked us back up through there. And we started working on my first record, so it kind of it was all crazy and happened really fast. But it's because I met Joel when I was a teenager, and he remembered my name. So. Production skills definitely came into play on both my albums. Um, he's a really great producer, and on the first record, I kind of came to him with a bunch of acoustic songs, like they were on acoustic guitar, and it was just me singing them. And I hadn't really demoed any of them myself, so I didn't know what the production was going to be like, so he definitely came to play there, and it was more of a, a collaboration on that end of things. And then with the, with the second record, my new album, um, it was kind of... Uh, I had a bunch of like demos already in the works, so we kind of just a lot. A lot of the songs kind of remained the same as they were when I demoed them, and then we collaborated on a bunch of stuff, which was great because he's just he's my favorite person to collaborate with. I have to find like the two of us bring completely different things to the table, but when we combine, it's, it always ends up being awesome, and I'm always really happy with the end result. But yeah, he's taught me a lot of stuff, like um, anything from like playing live. Um, and like set lists and the way the set goes to like what guitar pedals to use and stuff like that so I've definitely he's the guy I go to when I have questions about anything music related <laughs> the performance aspect of it I think will always be a little bit nerve-wracking for me um, I'm pretty I'm a pretty I guess shy and reserved person by nature so it's kind of it's still sort of weird to everybody who's known me for a long time that I've chosen to become a performing musician as my as my career but I love it. I've grown to, to really like it. I'm not as, it's not as scary as it was. It's kind of like it's more exciting now. It's like there's a, there's a fine line between scary, exciting, and, and fear, scary, you know? <laughs> so it's become exciting. Yeah.